Okay, so right now I'm going to be showing you how to use a Wii Remote, as some people call a Wiimote, as an iOS music controller. Uh, you do need to open up Cydia, and one application you do need to use uh, that you have to have installed is called BT Stack, which I have a small screenshot of it right here. If you do not have it, most people have it. So once you've opened up Cydia, you're going to need to go to the search bar. And what you need to type in is, I think it's Wiimote Music Controls. Um, I, it's right here on the bottom. I'm just going to type it in first. Now, oh, whatever, we'll just click it. But So what this does is I can use it to control the music with, uh, so what BT Stack uh, stands for is uh, the BT and BT Stack stands for Bluetooth. It, um, it's almost the first thing I downloaded when I first jailbroke. Um, and so now that I've installed music controls, all I have to do is I have to open up, um, the music app and I get a song going. Just give me a second. Okay, so now that we have a song, I'm going to switch back to my normal camera. So here we are. We have, um, so now that we have music playing, if we exit the music app, we can go here and, sorry about that. Um, so we open up the Wiimote music control app, and what happens is I press the two one and two buttons on the Wii remote, and I press uh, search. And once I do it, the Wiimote will vibrate. Then as you can see here, it will show a picture of the music. And when I turn my iPad off and turn it back on, you have the music. And as you can see, the plus and minus buttons um, adjust my the volume on my iPad. And this is real. Um, the A button does play and pause. And then uh, the D-pad, what it does is it will skip. So as you can see. The song just changed. Um, I've I've actually used this if I have it connect in my my iPad connected to speakers, and I've needed to use it. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 